Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the final video before the love event takes place over at Restored Reels. And Epic Games has now confirmed this. They said less than 30 hours remain, time is ticking, and Restored Reels is prepping for a remix, the prelude. So honestly, I would say throttle your expectations. It does look like it's going to be a love event cinematic, and that is pretty much it. We might even be just seeing uh, the trailer for Chapter 2 Remix inside of this love event. Uh, it could be literally nothing. We have really just no idea. Uh, as far as anything else, perhaps a love event concert will take place around the entire island for all we know. We really do not have an idea as far as what's going to happen during the event because the entire thing is currently encrypted. And so far, all we know is a cinematic of some sort will play on this screen. So yeah, take it as you guys will. With that being said, that Games has now posted several teasers today. Uh, so first things up is somewhere to roll back with a heavy beat. And of course we see a remix where it says Limitless Remix. And we see 8-Ball in the background along with the Coral Buddies and so on and so forth. And uh, on actually on Island, not really sure exactly where this point of interest will be. But of course the Chapter 2 Island does feature palm trees and all that great stuff. Hence why my intro has palm trees in it. So that's pretty interesting. Leakers also noticed that Shiver In returns in Fortnite Remix. It can be spotted in the extended teaser for Fortnite post that Fortnite posted over on their Instagram. And uh, yeah, so, you know, this point of interest is also coming back. They also posted a teaser with Guff, which just simply says, uh, what in the Guff do we have here? A new tempo for the journey ahead. So once again, we see just everything is revolving around music, tempo, remix, uh, music tracks, all sorts, of, all sorts of stuff. So without a doubt, again, I don't, know, don't really know exactly what's going to be happening during the Cinematic Lab event. Uh, but it does look like that during the event, it's just going to be music related. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, hopefully the entire season is not music related. I think that would be kind of boring, but hey, we'll simply wait and see. I will give it the benefit of the doubt. Uh, but again, throttle your... Uh, I, I guess expectations because you just never know. Along with that, Monsters Inc. X Fall Guys is actually coming soon. And with that being said, uh, this could actually also release in Fortnite since it was leaked a few weeks ago. I entirely forgot about that, but yeah, there actually was a few small leaks revolving around Monsters Inc. Monsters Inc. X Fortnite, and yeah, we could be seeing it as well since it's coming to Fall Guys and everything. And usually, things that come to Fall Guys also come to Fortnite. The same thing can be said. The same thing can be said with uh, Rocket League and Fortnite. It just kind of translates to each other since Epic Games now owns all these major companies. With that being said, we are now in stage three of the, I guess, Rift Beacon activating over at Restored Reels. Uh, in case you guys missed it, there is actually one more stage to go, and that is going to be like the bigger, uh, I guess, portal that is going on on the map right here. So in case you guys missed it, here's also that. So that should be taking place at some point tomorrow before the live event takes place. And uh, yeah, pretty interesting. Uh, along with that, Wenzo said, insanely shocking breaking news, Lazy Lake will return for Chapter 2 Remix. And Sheena also said, huge surprise, Fortnite hints that Pleasant Park returns in the game uh, during next season. Quote, want to go for a walk, Pleasant Park sounds nice. So yeah, guys, like all the major, I guess, OG uh, points of interest and locations are obviously coming back. I wouldn't worry, worry too much about the remix points of interest as obviously... The base of it will still be Pleasant Park and whatever else, you know, I wouldn't really worry too much. Yes, they might be a little bit remixed, but at the same time, it will still look the same. With that being said, Fortnite also announced Fortnite Reload Solos. Uh, so it's actually pretty interesting. At first, I wasn't really sure how this is going to work, but according to Hypebacks from previous leaks, it says one respawn as a starter. Each elimination gives you a respawn slot up to three max. You guys can actually earn your uh, respawns. Uh, respawns get disabled in late zones like normal reload and this info could change uh, but uh, this is how epic is currently testing it so that's actually pretty interesting i actually kind of like that concept of the more kills you get the more reloads you actually do get or respawns that's actually very unique very good idea moving forward the video lego fortnite also announced that the model lift has trapped Sever vk lachlan loser fruit and ali a inside of lego island cast your vote inside a lego dark space before time runs out and earn an in-game free reward I actually don't know what the free reward is, but I'm assuming you guys can do this very easily. So in case you guys do want a free reward, make sure you guys also do that. Um, the Arcane collaboration was last seen now 1,000 days ago as far as the item shop release. The final season of the series will be released next month, and perhaps there will be another collaboration according to Sheena. So yeah, in case you guys are wondering where the Sheena icon skin is, well, it's coming back very soon. Here's everything to expect in the upcoming Fortnite Remix update taking place over on Saturday, according to Sam. 
Chapter 2's return, going through seasons 1 through 3, but of course a remix variant. The battle pass will be Meow Dao's Guff remix, One Ball, Tiantina remix, plus maybe a Fino Chaos Asian. Fortnite Festival Season 6 will feature Snoop Dogg, new main stage, and free rewards, plus a potential lowrider vehicle. Survival medals will be removed, loading screen skins could finally be released, which does make sense. Nike Jordan collaboration, we'll go over that very soon, that's actually pretty interesting. Um, animated decal support, which is not confirmed, and end event taking us into chapter 6 with a lot more surprises. So that's kind of the gist as far as what to expect. Let's talk about that upcoming Nike collaboration and Jordan. So Fortnite X, Nike aka Jordan collaboration is now dropping next season. Sneakers can be worn by many skins. There will be many different sneakers included. Examples are Jordan 1s, Jordan 4s, and Nike Cortez. It's going to be released early during Fortnite Remix. Uh, so yeah, the new shoes cosmetics are definitely coming soon, and that's going to be very interesting. We'll be seeing like Peely wear, uh, you know, some Jordan 1s, which is very, very weird to think about. Uh, but yeah, very cool cosmetic, you know, just something new Epic Games is trying out. And I'm really surprised they still have not done like, uh, what's it called, weapon charms, or like even hats or necklaces, something like that. Uh, but perhaps during Chapter 6, we'll be seeing all sorts of different customization options to really customize your experience while playing Fortnite. You know, even if your friend is wearing the exact same skin as you, you might have a different variation, such as different shoes on, or a different necklace, or a different hat or a different mask, honestly. There's a lot of potential to customize skin still. Also, in case you guys missed it, it looks like the physics update has been delayed until quarter one of 2025. I'm sure you guys have seen that before, but obviously, also, Fortnite Custom UI has also been delayed until uh, quarter one of 2025 as well. Okay, so I almost forgot, but my buddy Clark has now made his first UEFN map. You guys see me on the Clark Clinton channel numerous times, and well, I want to do him a favor and give him a little shout out. So he said, my first UEFN map is now live. The island code is right here in the background video. It is called the Cracked Coliseum. It is the first Fortnite island to seamlessly merge box fights and zone wars into one single map, rather than two modes being separate game modes in one map. This is one game with two stages that rewards the most skilled players. Great to be the first duo to win the box fight, then instantly drop out of the sky with a random loadout and land into the ultimate Zone Wars experience. That's actually very unique. The key features of the island include a ranking system, proximity chat, very dangerous, 32 player lobbies and or 16 duos, and custom audio messages for kill streaks of 3, 5, 10, 15, 20, and 50. Players will obtain XP through playtime, eliminations, kill streaks, wins, and win streaks once calibrated. Now, in case you guys watched his live stream over on YouTube, he also, uh, you know, pretty much played live with a bunch of people. It looked freaking awesome. I was sadly not able to make it. I was supposed to be in there, but due to many things popping up, including the live event tomorrow, I was just too busy. But here's my little thing. Here's my little payback for him, and I hope you guys check it out. It's freaking awesome, dude. I definitely suggest you guys play it and definitely give it a try. Uh, I... Pretty sure that is pretty much it. I'm pretty sure throughout the entire day, Epic Games will release very small teasers like they have been doing with like these loading screens and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, you know, just keep an eye on Twitter. Uh, this will probably be my last video before the upcoming live event. I'm really trying to figure out how I can stream even if just a basic stream. And even if I can't even show my face, I want at the very least just stream it live with a few people. So, you know, if you guys see a stream go live, make sure I support the heck out of it. It'll let me know that you guys actually are inter inter interested in streams and then I'll, you know, make more effort to put, you know, more money into it. Uh, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you guys for the support. I'll see you guys during the love event tomorrow.